he was tying them hand back with their legs bound with white clothes. The 20th of October has become another important date in the annual of Nigeria's history. It is a day that cannot be wished away in the minds of many Nigerians. A day young Nigerians swamped the streets of Nigeria to protest what they term police brutality with a theme and SARS. So, before we'll take on this week's episode, the revisit of the serial killer case file, it is important we reflect on the end SARS protest one year thereon. In memorial of the end SARS protest of the 20th of October 2020, which went SAR and resulted in the deaths of innocent Nigerians, including that of police officers, and the wanton damages to public and private properties. On Wednesday, Nigerian youths rallied at the Lekki Toll Gate in Lagos, Unity Fountain, Abuja, and states across the country to drum up their frustrations against the vexed issue of violations of their fundamental rights by the police and alleged maladministration of the ruling government. In Lagos, Commissioner of Police Hakim Odumosu had a rough time contending with the youths over upholding peaceful protest. I discussed with them that we have the right to protest, they should be within the of the law. We want to protest from one point to one point and at one time. And what are your programs? So let's run this so that they too, they needed to be protected. We are going to give them security. They had a program yesterday at the Kedja. So let's go for them. That was the issue. But when they now came now, they missed us now. And I called the organizers. This is what is happening. I've seen this one now, what happened now. They said they have left as a ten o'clock. They would have gone back to the house. I've had information that they want to go to the state house. At Alausa, I become in there. And talk by told me importantly that they are not going to anywhere, they go back to the houses. And after 10, anybody on the floor now is no more. Oh, we arrested somebody with machete. Is that the protesters? That's an evidence was that these guys are returning. The federal government, through the Minister of Information, Al Haji Lai Mohammed, briefed Nigerians on steps the federal government took in the last year to address the concerns raised by the conveners of the NSAS protest. They was pointed out the various actions already taken by federal and state governments to address the grievances that led to the 2020 protests, including the disbandment of SARS, broad police reforms, establishment of judicial panels and inquiries to investigate allegations of human rights violations by members of the Nigerian police force and other security agencies, recommendations of which panels are already at various stages of implementation, including the setup of victims' compensation funds, from which several victims have received payments of sums awarded to them by the panels, and the prosecution of police personnel indicted by the panel. Whatever you need, oh, 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 yeah. Download the MPS mobile app on your phone, no. Oh. Whether Android or iOS, 
Bank the easy and secure way with MPF Microfinance Bank. You can now open a secure account in two minutes, pay bills, deposit and withdraw cash, buy airtime and transfer funds. Enjoy access to loans up to 2 million naira and above for businesses and salary earners at low interest rates. Also, enjoy high interest rates on savings accounts and salary advance for salary accounts. These services are also made available by our Better Money agents. Download the MPF Microfinance Bank app from Apple or Google Play Store. Open your secure account and start banking the easy way. NPF Microfinance Bank, making life better for all. He was tying them hand back with their legs bound with white clothes. This week, we continue with the story of gracious David West the hotel serial killer who rocked the entire nation with his dastardly act. This bloodthirsty man killed more than 18 women in a killing spree that swept through the south-south states of Nigeria. Gracious David West lured women to hotel rooms and had killed them. He used the same pattern in getting them dead. What do I mean by that? He was tying them hand back with their legs bound with white clothes, he will usually tear the white clothes, either the bare sheets or the best uh, the pillowcase, and then tie them up, and then threaten them. First, he will collect their, those that had ATM, collected their ATM cards, withdraw the money in their accounts, and then tie them up and will strangle them. Some of them, he allowed them to die there. He will lock them inside and sneak out. The serial killer was identified as Gracious David West. The Nigerian police launched a manhunt for him and after their investigation, they had successfully brought him in. He had confessed to the murder of several women in hotels scattered across Port Harcourt. But it was not enough. Justice had to be served. The wheels of justice move slowly, sometimes, and there were many questions as to whether this case would see the light of day and if it would reach a successful conclusion. How swift is the Nigerian justice system? The Nigerian justice system, uh, the swiftness to um, criminal adjudication may not be exactly where we want it to be. Uh, we cannot say it is very swift because of some challenges that are bedeviling or that are facing the uh, criminal justice system. Although this is dependent on various jurisdictions, that is whether in Lagos, in Abuja, in states and other states, but I'll be taking um, a case study of Lagos. And so Lagos, uh, in some instances it could be fast, but generally it's not as fast as we want. Although that is what the government is trying to do to make sure that um, the uh, criminal justice system is faster and that is why we are coming up with new laws and there is a new administration of criminal justice law now to aid efficiency of criminal justice system in Nigeria. However, we are not yet where we want to be but there is a step in the right direction. The Legal and Prosecution Unit of the Rivers State Police Command is handed the case to begin prosecution against Gracious David West. I was uh at the end of uh, 2019, that he was actually charged to court on uh, gracious David West, a serial killer, first time in the annals of the history of Nigeria. It was really uh, traumatizing. It was uh, a very torturous point to the command and to the police in general. We charge him, we prefer charge of about uh, nine counts of murder and uh, one attempted murder. We arraigned him and uh, of course, we're all out to prosecute him effectively because the police did a yeoman's job for nabbing him. Here was a man whom we thought, everybody thought, what is happening? But eventually, police nabbed him. He was charged to court. And after charging him to court, 
it was uh, the office of the attorney general who came in and eventually uh, took over the case from this office. After a careful examination of the facts as were contained in the case file that we received from the police, I had to file a proper charge with information attached, with proof of evidence. The charge that was provided against him before the court had about 10, 11 counts, nine of murder, pure murder, and one on attempted murder because one was rescued by the hotel uh, staff. Prosecution gathers its witnesses and evidence to present to the court. For prosecution to be carried out, there must be a strong and believable trail of evidence to build a good case. Here was a man who murdered so many people. But however, we were able to establish a prima facie case against eight to nine victims that were killed. That is not to say that he didn't kill more than that, but the evidence we have could prove those ones. Eight to nine, if I'm not uh, saying yes. We had one, uh, one hotel called the Tokyo Hotel on, on uh, Stadium Road. We had Venice Hotel in GRA. We had Pachik Hotel on Celeste Nomeha Road, popularly known as uh, SAS Road. Then Brooklyn Hotel, somewhere in D-Line. And so many other hotels. So I visited the hotel managers and gave them invitation to attend court on a particular day to testify as to what happened in their hotel. On those particular, on the particular days, it happened in their own various hotels. So and all of them, luckily, the managers responded, uh, responded positively and they all came to testify. Those who were not present when the event or the incident took place in their own hotel called their receptionists who were there and they came, came to the court to give evidence as prosecution witnesses. 33 days after Gracious David West is arrested, he is arraigned in court one of the fastest court proceedings to commence. What we were able to show at the end of this investigation is the fact that we've got the capacity to deliver when it matters most. Our investigations were quick, they were comprehensive, we left nothing to chances, we deployed forensics at its best, and our presentations and the courts of law were clinical. At the end of the day, we successfully um, prosecuted this case, not just successfully, but also timelessly. And today, he has been sentenced, and the families of those young girls can have a closure, knowing fully well that justice has been served. The police had done a lot of work to get Gracious David West into custody. It was up to the prosecution to argue the case and present the evidence that would keep him locked up and away from the public. In the course of the trial, the subject of motive was examined once again. Why had David West committed this crime? The prosecution had its theory. His reason for just doing that was because it was it was to ritual killing. Looking at looking at the circumstances, the manner in which he killed them. He didn't stab any of them. He did not shoot any of them. He would just strangle you with a white a sheet, a white handkerchief. Do you understand? And usually from what we gathered, we use that handkerchief to clean either any blood or foam, substance, fluid from the mouth and we'll have the hanky and walk away. So something must have done that. Well, something must, must have prompted him. Gracious David West denied that he committed the crimes and the images of him in the pictures and CCTV camera that have been captured are not of him. Is it likely to have suspects recant their statements? What would have likely resulted in this? Anybody, any person standing or facing trial has the right to um, challenge 
his confessional statement. Can we count his statement and say, no, I am sorry, I made that confession before now. Or that confession is before you, but I didn't make it. Now, it happens often. And so the law provides for such situations. When such things happen, we have what the, the, the court resort into what to call trial within trial. Now, but the question is, why do such things happen? And how can we ensure that even when there is trial within trial, if actually the, the, um, the uh, suspect is a person before the court and indeed he gave a he gave, um, confessional statement, that he, the court is able to take his confessional statement and then dispense with his objection to the tendering of his confessional statement. Now, that is what the administration of criminal justice law has done to request or to, to make it mandatory that while taking the statements of um, suspects, the uh, investigators or the, um, the police, most of the time, we all know that there are more than the, poli the people that are involved in crime investigation and crime prevention are not just the police. We have the EFCC, we have the um, other, other sister organizations, but the majority of the cases that go into the administration of criminal justice system goes into the funnel of the police. Now, the idea is that whoever has a suspect and is taking a confessional statement will, is required to record the confessional statement. He is required to to do that in the presence of his legal counsel. That is to say, the confessional statement is given in the presence of the man, uh, of his lawyer. So uh, it, it is, in such instances, it becomes difficult for the suspect to return his confessional statement. If the, the confessional statement was recorded, for example, in fact, the law actually requests for video recording, video and probably audio recording, that once these things are done, and then the person, it would not be difficult for a suspect to come to court and say, no, I didn't say so, or I said that under duress. We know that there are drawbacks in this matter. Sometimes it's even difficult to grade our recording devices set up. But there were other things that gracious David West put up during the proceeding to throw into question the subject of his sanity. Try to do something in court by backing when they ask him questions to come and give his, uh, to come and to answer. He started backing like dog. Well, 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 you know, that kind of funny thing to raise the issue of insanity. But if he wanted to raise the plea of insanity, he would have done more. Because the law, the law presumes everybody sane until contrary is proven. Just like the law presumes everybody innocent until contrary is proven. So the law presumes you sane, that you are, every man is sane. You understand? Until you prove that you are insane, as at the time you did it. Not just that you are insane, that, but that, you were, that insanity affected your sense of reasoning. That you didn't know, I never read your act. It may be insane, yes, but at the point we are in that, we are not insane. It may be your lucid period. So whatever I do at that particular moment, you are deemed liable. You are criminally liable. I know that insanity, defense of insanity, escapates you completely. But you must prove it. And it's not the duty on the prosecution, but the duty on the defense to show that this man was insane as at the time he did what he did. But in that case, they didn't do anything. They didn't call evidence. They just said he was insane. How can you just rely on the fact that he was insane? Even after that, when I was cross-examining him, he didn't show like he was insane. You understand? He didn't show that he was insane. So he was casually raised. Casually raised. And so the court agreed with me that there was nothing like that. On the 10th of October, 2020, Gracious David West is found guilty of all charges and is sentenced to die by hanging. For our colleagues in the correction service, this young man still, might still represent a potential risk. And so, wherever he is currently being detained, pending an authorization for the execution of the sentence of the court, he must be constantly put on the watch and on the check. As, as I speak to you, he is still in correctional center, as we call them now, no longer prisons. Correctional center here in Port Harcourt. He has a right of appeal. Any day they appeal, we are here to respond. He hasn't appealed. 
So we're waiting for the lawyer. The lawyer promised that he's going to file an appeal on his behalf. And we're waiting to get the notice of appeal so that we can respond accordingly. And so, gracious David West is made to pay for his crimes and for the families of the victims whose lives were cut short by David West's blood loss, they can finally find justice. When you do the crime, you do the timing. Do the crime and do the time. So if you are bold enough to commit crime, be bold enough to walk to prison. Bold enough to carry whatever punishment that is meted out to you. So we advise Nigerians that they should stay out of crime. The law works. There is nothing easy anywhere. So you work for everything you get. Stay out of crime because the law is there and the officers are there to catch you. If you commit any crime, there's no hiding place for any criminal. And if you are caught, we will prosecute you. We have efficient lawyers. We have lawyers who will prosecute you to logical conclusion, there's no hiding place for criminals. And on that note, we bring the story to a close. Justice has been served, but in its wake is the reminder of the unforgettable crimes that have left a trail of violence, shock and grief. We pray never to witness this again. Crime does not pay. Sooner or later, criminal elements would be exposed and made to pay for their crimes. Remember to stay safe and crime-free. Whatever you need, oh, 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 yeah. Download the MPS mobile app on your phone, no. Whether Android or iOS. Bank the easy and secure way with MPF Microfinance Bank. You can now open a secure account in two minutes, pay bills, deposit and withdraw cash, buy airtime and transfer funds. Enjoy access to loans up to 2 million naira and above for businesses and salary earners at low interest rates. Also, enjoy high interest rates on savings accounts and salary advance for salary accounts. These services are also made available by our Better Money agents. Download the MPF Microfinance Bank app from Apple or Google Play Store. Open your secure account and start banking the easy way. NPF Microfinance Bank, making life better for all. I would like to encourage each and every member of the society to trust the Nigerian police force uh, in the fight against crime. It cannot be left in the hands of the police or security agencies alone. It's, it's, it's a business that all of us needs to be involved. And one way to be a part of it is for us to learn to trust the police with every bit of information that can help us in addressing the situation. Crime does not select victim. Everyone can be a victim of crime. Whether you are in the security services or you are a member of the public. So if we must eliminate crime, that means everybody has to be involved. We must learn to trust the police. The way forward in fighting crime is for all and sundry to learn to partner with the Nigerian police force. You can trust us with every bit of information. And I assure you that we will work with it diligently to solve whatever crime situation that is out there. We can be trusted. So all of us must work together as partners in order to end crime. <laughs> <laughs>